I remember her, and I'm sure you will too, former teen pup sensation, and now she's going to be at Foxwoods. Debbie Gibson. How are you? I just dared me that I wouldn't sing this song, but no, only in my dreams. That's good. Is that pretty good? I'd sing with you, but it's really early, and I'm singing it later, <laughs> and I'm singing it eight times a week. So How many people come up to you and but say those, sing those songs? Or, or Most people don't have the guts to <laughs> sing it like no. you did with that kind of conviction. <laughs> yeah, conviction or bad voice? I that was good. Was. I, I love it. It's good to see you. You too. So what a career. It's been like... Really, I'm about a week away from it being officially 24 years since I signed my first record deal. Well, looking back, what was the most... Which is weird because I'm only 28. I, I don't know. know. I look good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, when you look back at your career, though, and obviously you have a long career ahead of you, but what was the more favorite... Was this, is this a favorite time? Was it when you were younger that it was a favorite time? God, that's a great question because it is kind of always a favorite time. It's like whatever project I'm doing is my new favorite thing <laughs> because there's really not been anything in my career I could look at and go, God, I wish I hadn't done that. Like right. I'm always doing things that really intrigue me, challenge me, that are unique and different. Um, a lot of things that nobody's done before, like with, with Cirque Dreams, the show I'm doing now, um, Neil Gold Goldberg, who created the show, was like, you know what, we've never had a pop performer featured in this Cirque style show and we'd love t for you to be the first. And so there's always this sense of like, Ooh, okay, I'm kind of the pioneer or the guinea pig. Right. Yeah, something different and, and challenging for me. And, and so, yeah, this is a really nice time for me. And also, you know what, being a little older, I've learned how to, like, balance my career and my personal life. And so overall in life, it's a good time. Which is tough because we see a lot of people, Lindsay Lohan and some of these mm -hmm. other stars who seem to be on the news every day. Yep. How, did you, how were you able to manage to stay out of the headlines for the most part? You know, I um, I was so focused on doing my work, staying healthy, mentally, physically, vocally, and to me, all the other stuff was going to screw that up, and I didn't want to. I'd worked too hard for it. And uh, but so your I, mom was a, was involved in. Yeah, influence. yeah. She having her around was great, mainly because if I needed a bad guy to say, "Look, my daughter's feeling exhausted, overworked, etc." as opposed to some of the parents who seem like they. Are kind of like, well, honey, you better keep working and yeah, making that to money. Say no to opportunities. Yeah, I think exactly. Get caught in that too. And you, you know what? And you get praised when you're a kid for being so. Oh, she's so poised and she's so hardworking, and to, that you so, start to feel like you've got to live up to this like superwoman persona. Right. And that God forbid you have an off day, week, month, or even year, like any like, other kid, right? like any other human being, where it's like, you know what? I just need to regroup for a minute. Um, and, you know, so there, I learned along the way that I did want it to be a long road and I didn't want to just get burned out in those first three years, which, look, we see a lot of people that have right. the two albums, the two tours, and they're gone. Right, right. Because... You know, TMZ for the rest of their career. Exactly. Because of time constraints, I want to get right to what you're doing now. Yes. You mentioned it. You're at Foxwoods at mm -hmm. Cirque du Soleil. Tell us a little bit about what makes this a little bit different. It's actually not Cirque du Soleil. Okay. That's what makes it different. <laughs> it's Cirque Dreams, which is an okay. American company um, with circus-style performers. But it's very different in that it's um, more accessible, family-friendly. Um, you know, everyone hears this phrase, in this economy, but I, I know firsthand I run a summer camp for kids, and I've watched the parents struggle to put together the funding for arts and their kids. The ticket prices are very affordable. Um, what about the show, though? What are they going to see The show when they itself... Get there? is very, uh, it's on the edge of your seat, um, high wire acts, trapeze, jugglers, uh, contortionists. I do yoga with the contortionists as much as possible to stay in shape because they're amazing. <laughs> um, and I mean, there are people flipping and it's they're like on I'm bicycles. It's like like feels what I'm saying, but it's obviously this, different. It's a, it has right. that kind of pup edge now because you're involved in exactly. it. Exactly, so it is a hybrid of a theatrical experience, a, cir a circus experience, um, and a concert experience, when all it, rolled into one. When does it run one. through, Debbie? Through September 1st. So if you're there, go, go down and go see it. You're very popular. Is that somebody texting you? <laughs> you? You had to catch me there. It's, it's somebody singing the lyrics to your other song that I was going to sing for Perfect. you. Perfect. <laughs> Which is, shake your love. Is that it? There you go. See, they said I couldn't get you to sing. Now to... to go ahead, sing me out. To, I just can't shake your love. There you go. Shake your love. Not many lyrics to send in that one. <laughs> Debbie I just Gibson can't shake. At Foxwoods. Your love. See you there. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. <laughs>